Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the new person that's coming towards you, collective. All right, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. So many people ask me, uh, many of my subscriber, subscribers ask me, is there somebody new coming towards me, Wendy? So let's answer that question. Here we go. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me who's the new person coming towards co the collective? Or is there a new person coming towards the collective in regards to love, please? Is there a new person coming towards the collective in regards to love? Oh, okay. So first card we have here is the Nine of Pentacles. So it kind of looks like the person that's coming towards you collective is someone who's single. That's good news. They're single, they're not married, they're not attached to anyone, they're not in any type of commitment with anyone. They're single and free as a bird. Great. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person does really well for themselves is what I'm getting also. They could be into gardening, that's very specific but they could be into gardening or something of that nature, or they could, they could be into nature. I'm getting also like a chef, someone who likes to cook, someone who cooks healthy. They're very health conscious is what I'm getting. Okay, but Clearly, those are very specific messages, not for everyone. Um, but yeah, I feel like they do really well for themselves, though. That, I do feel, is a, is a big um, indicator of who this person is. They do really well for themselves financially um, and in regards to their work, their career. I also feel like this person lives by themselves, is what I'm getting. They have their own place and they live by themselves. I'm also getting that they don't have any children. No children. They're very happy um, living their life on their own. Like that's not a big deal to them or it's not something that is a sacrifice to them. Um, they enjoy their time alone. They, they enjoy being independent and a loner, but I feel like this person is at that point in life where they are starting to feel more of a desire to share their life with somebody else, someone, someone special. Okay. What else can you tell me about um, who's the new person coming towards the collective in regards to love? So the answer is yes, there is someone coming towards you. There is a new person. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, so we do have the Six of Wands. Again, this person is very independent and um, very self-sufficient. Um, they take pride in that, by the way, with the Six of Wands. They take pride in being someone who's independent and self-sufficient. They work really hard to achieve that status. It wasn't, um, it wasn't an, an easy achievement. It, it took a lot of hard work, time and energy and discipline for them to be able to have the lifestyle that they currently have. Yeah. I feel like this person lives a very relaxed life. 
they don't they don't have any stresses in regards to money or finances they can take care of themselves they can buy whatever they want to buy you know they're not pressed for for money yeah they have enough for themselves and they also have enough to give to their partner. So this person's not stingy is what I'm getting. I feel like this person is happy to share their wealth with the right person. Of course, because I do see that this person is very selective. You know, this person does have high standards. They're not just going to um, jump into a relationship with any random person. I feel like this person wants to be with someone who has their same values. Yeah. You don't have to ha you don't have to sorry, you don't have to have the same financial status as as them. You don't have to have the same you don't have to have the same success as they do in regards to your work or career. But you do need to share their same values. And what I feel like their values are is um, loyalty is what I'm getting, commitment, and also honesty. Yeah. So that's their biggest, you know, like requirement is what I'm getting. This person gets a lot of attention is also what I'm getting. Could be a Leo. They got a they got a sorry, they get a lot of attention so they might be in the public eye in some way. This person might have some sort of fame or recognition. They might be recognized in their field of work. Highly recognized in their field of work. Many, pe many people would love to be with this person, but like I said, they're very selective and very um, picky with who they share their energy with. All right, tell me more about who's coming towards the collective. Who's the new person for the collective? Let's get one more card, please. Oh, okay. So we we have the lovers here. It could be a Gemini. I am getting that when this person loves, they love hard. It takes time for them to, you know, reach that level of feeling comfortable to express their love and to give their love. Um, this person does have a little bit of a of trust issues is what I'm getting, you know, so um, they need to really get to know you and they need to really, they need to really spend time with you, like enough time with you where they feel like they have a good idea of the type of person that you are. Before they feel comfortable with being open with you. Emotionally open and emotionally available. But once this person um, realizes that you are someone to be trusted, you are someone who has a lot in common with them, um, you do share their same values, that's when this person is very, very open with um, their emotions and their feelings and, and they do love hard is what I'm getting. They love hard and they are the type of person that will give themselves 100% to you and to their relationship with you. Yeah, I feel like this person's spiritual also is what I'm getting. This person is spiritual. So this person believes in like 
karmic relationships and soulmates and twin flames, they believe in all of that. They have a spiritual side to themselves. They're very practical and they're very realistic and, you know, they're very grounded in reality, but they also have a spiritual side. Now, they might not know too much about spirituality, but they like it and they're interested in it. And if you know about spirituality, they would be open to hearing from you and learning from you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person would, would love to learn about, you know, like astrology and tarot. I don't feel like they know much about it, but I feel like they would love to hear about it and learn learn from you if you know if you know about that. All right. Let's see. Anything else? Hold on. Let me see if I'm missing something. No, again, I'm getting that, like I said, they're very um, all-in. They're, they're very much an all-in person. Once they feel like they can trust you, they're going to be very devoted to you and very um, uh, committed to you. And it's kind of like their world is going to be your world. It's almost like this person doesn't believe in prenups, you know, is what I'm getting, which is interesting. I feel like this person doesn't, they don't like prenups, if you know what, what I mean. Like, it's almost like this person feels like everything that they have and they own <clears throat> becomes yours. And they're happy to, they're happy to give it to you or they're happy to share it with you. They don't believe in divisions. However, if you do, then they would be perfectly fine with that. They would totally respect that. <clears throat> Especially because this person is this person is very independent and self-sufficient. So they don't need anything from you at all. But in regards to the things that they have and the things that they own, um, they're very open to sharing all of it with you. They they do see. They do see the things that they have in their life as yours. You know. It's kind of like they merge, like they, they completely merge with the person that, that they know they want to spend, you know, their life with. Now, if they don't feel like you're, you're someone who they can spend their life with, they're not going to even bother, you know, talking to you, not even in a, not even in a casual manner. They just don't have time for that. You know, I feel like this person... Um, I feel like this person um, does a lot of things in their life related to work, but also related to like their hobbies or creativity also is what I'm getting, creative endeavors. So they don't have time for that. So if, if they don't feel like you're the one for them, they're not going to entertain you, not even as a casual friend. But yeah, if they feel like um, you're the one for them, which I feel like that's what's going to happen here between you and them collective, I do feel like this person's going to see you as, okay, this is, this is my person, this is my soulmate, this is who I'm meant to be with. And automatically, once they realize that, I do feel like they're going to turn or they're going to make their world be your world. And they're going to make their successes and their wealth and their achievements be your, your successes, your wealth, your achievement. I just feel like this person is very selfless, you know? I'm just getting a very selfless vibe from them. From them. All right. How are you going to meet this person or when are you going to meet this person? Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me. 
How is the collective going to meet this new person? Or when is this, when is the collective going to meet this new person? How and when or how or when? All right, here we go. So we do have the Queen of Cups showing up here. Mm. Okay, tell me more. We also have the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. One more. We also have the Magician. Okay. I actually want to clarify a little bit here. Let me do a little clarification in your energy because it, it's not as straightforward as your, your future person's energy is. Yours is a little bit more multifaceted and complex. So let me clarify. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Oh, I see. You're okay. It's when you it's when you let go of someone who you're emotionally attached to currently. Mm. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what it's saying. When you let go of whoever it is that you're currently emotionally attached to, that's when it's going to happen. That's when this new person is going to um, show up for you. When you decide to put yourself first, the moment you decide to put yourself first, to put your happiness first over over the person that you're currently dealing with or over the person that you're currently entertaining um, and connecting with. Because the Queen of Cups tells me that you're putting this person, whoever you're dealing with right now, you're putting their happiness and their feelings over your feelings. You're making their feelings more important than your feelings. You're prioritizing them in some way. And I feel like the moment you stop prioritizing them, the, mo the moment you stop worrying about how they feel and, and you know what they think and what they're doing, the moment you put yourself first, that's when this new person will come in, which connects to the magician. The magician is all about you know, claiming your power, claiming your your independence, your freedom, unchaining yourself. I almost feel like the devil energy for some reason. I'm, I'm thinking about the devil card that there's, there's a chain between two people. So the magician is all about unchaining yourself. From Everything that doesn't serve you anymore, everything that doesn't uplift you, that doesn't, you know, support you, that doesn't make you better, you know, or, or help you achieve your goals. Hmm. Tell me more about the magician spirit. Oh, geez, the tower. Okay. Interesting. Well, that kind of sounds what I was talking about. You know, the tower is attached to the devil card. So it's kind of like what I was saying. You see all the, these people here falling out from the tower? I feel like that's, you know, similar to... What I was saying about unchaining yourself from things that don't serve you, from situations that don't serve you and people that don't serve you. Yeah, like bring down the tower of, of all that 
is negative in your life and doesn't have value, doesn't contribute value to you or your life. I want to say leeches for some reason. Yeah, like get rid of the, the leeches, a leech. Maybe you have a leech in your life right now. Or like a vampire, which is kind of similar to like a leech. An emotional vampire that you might currently have in your life that you're connecting to. Yeah, it just kind of looks like when you get rid of that and you have the confidence to step forward into a new beginning in your life that's all about you and all about what's good for you and what's going to give you happiness and success, that's when you're going to open that spiritual window of opportunity so that this new person can enter. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right, where am I going here now? Okay. Well, let's see some sort of outcome here between you and this new person. Yeah. All right, let's see some, some sort of outcome. What can you tell me is the outcome spirit between the collective and this new person? Once the collective meets this new person? Or maybe some of you have already met this person? What can you tell me um, will be the outcome between them? All right, first card we have here is, ooh, the sun. I like that card. That's a good outcome, huh? Could be a Leo for some of you. I think I mentioned Leo here. Yeah, I did. Signs don't matter, but uh, we do have Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so the sun represents success, opportunity, happiness, a new beginning, a new chapter in your life. So this is just confirmation that, you know, things are going to things are going to look up for you. Things are going to level level up for you. Um, the moment you come across this new person and meet this new person with the sun card, um, it just kind of looks like it's going to be a, a match, a vibrational match to your energy. That's why you need to do this first, because if you want to attract a good person, you know, a person that has high vibration and high energy, um, you have to cultivate and develop that high vibration and high energy in yourself first in order for you to become a magnet for that. And I just feel like that's exactly what's going to happen. Like you're going to become a magnet to this energy of success and happiness and abundance and, you know, a positive new beginning in, in love. Okay. What else can you tell me, Spirit, in regards to the outcome between the collective and the new person? Okay, Seven of Pentacles is, is here. So this is a card of growth and expansion. Interesting. Tell me more in the outcome. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords. Yeah, I was feeling that with the Seven of Pentacles, interestingly enough. I was feeling an energy of, like, hesitancy. But that's okay, because the strongest card here is the Sun card. So even though you are going to be very hesitant, you are going to be feeling scared of You know, I have to be honest. I feel like this is a is, I feel like this is a fear of happiness. I said this in some other reading. I forgot what reading it is. But I remember this message um about someone being afraid of being happy. 
you know, I just feel like you've been in this energy of sadness and disappointment for so long. It's hard for you to, you know, for some of you, it's hard for you to think that happiness could ever be a possibility for you. And I feel like you're scared of being happy and, you know, finally getting, you know, what you always wanted in life. And then, you know, for it to come crashing down and for you to lose it all. But the reality is that happiness comes from you. It comes from within yourself. It doesn't come from another person. So even if things don't work out with this new person, you know, that's okay because they never really were your source of happiness. So it's not something that's going to like, it's going to feel sad or like, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not going to like it. It's not going to feel pleasant, but your source of happiness comes from you. So, you know, it's okay if it doesn't work out. You still have you and you still have you in the end. So maybe that's something that you can remind yourself of when you have these, when you get to this point of feeling scared. Feeling like, what if this person betrays me? Or what if this person abandons me? You know, what if this person is not who they say they are, say they are, or what if this is too good to be true? I don't feel like this person is giving you any reason or motive to doubt them. I just feel like it's coming from, from your past traumas, okay? Your past traumas. So, you know, try not to pay too much attention to it and try to just embrace this new beginning um, because it is a very promising new beginning for you. And like I said, if things don't work out, you know, just remember that you're going to be okay regardless. Okay. So it's better to just take a chance. I mean, you don't you don't have anything to lose. You know, everything is like a everything can be a learning experience anyway at the end of the day, you know. There's always something to gain from every every situation. Okay. So Collective, I hope I was able to help you in this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.